Hello and welcome. This is take number two for this uh, exercise here. I made a brutal mistake, so I had to delete the video and redo uh, this one. Okay, so anyways, um, let's find these values by making use of Sokotoa, a little bit of the unit circle, even though I didn't draw a circle here, as well as the special triangles. And uh, for the special triangles, instead of putting 30, 60, 90, I just use the radians, pi over 6, pi over 3, 90. And here I have 45, 45, 90, which is pi over 4, pi over 4, 90. Um, you can barely read this, but it's actually a pi over 4, pi over 4. Um, and since I'm telling you, you'll, you'll know. Anyways, so let's get started with sine of 11 pi over 6. And that is on the fourth quadrant. And why is that? How can you figure it out if you can't see it right away? Well, you can actually just look at the fraction here, 11 over 6 pi, of course. That's going to be between 3 pi over 2, which is right here, and 2 pi, which is right here. Because 11 over 6 is greater than 3 over 2, but smaller than 2. Okay, so the angle in standard position, 11 pi over 6, will be here. We're interested, though, in the reference angle. And the reference angle is always in between the terminal arm and the x-axis. So the reference angle is right here. And we're going to need to measure that in order to use our method of um, special triangles. OK, so how can we find out this guy? We can actually subtract 11 pi over 6 from 2 pi. And why is that? Because 11 pi over 6 is just all the way around here. So if we subtract 2 pi, which is the whole thing, we're going to find the little remainder there. So 2 pi minus 11 pi over 6, we need a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply the first fraction, which uh, there, there's a hidden 1 here, by 6 over 6. So we'll get 12 pi over 6, which is equivalent to 2 pi, of course. Subtract them to get 1 pi over 6, or just pi over 6, and that is the reference angle. So now we can take a look here. And since we're looking at sine, the value will be 1 over 2. Excellent. However, is it positive 1 over 2? In this case, it's not. Because all students take calculus, which means that on the fourth quadrant, only cosine is positive. Sine and tangent are negative. So the sine will be negative half instead. But still half, of course. Um, only negative half. Okay, so now let's find cosine of 4 pi over 3. 4 pi over 3 is on the third quadrant, and I can tell that right away because 4 over 3 is greater than 1, and this is 1 pi right here, and this is 3 pi over 2, which is 1.5. 4 over 3, 4 pi over 3 then, needs to be here somewhere. So I'm going to draw a terminal arm there. And I'm also going to draw the angle in standard position, which is, oh, that's, that was a bad color because it kind of looks like red. The angle in standard position, 4 pi over 3 will be here somewhere. And the reference angle, I'm going to use this purple here to show you the reference angle right there between the terminal arm and the x-axis. Looks a little bit messy, but hopefully makes sense. And, okay, to find out a reference angle in the third quadrant, I can just subtract pi from the angle. In this case, that's going to be a 3 pi over 3, which is pi. 4 pi over 3 minus 3 pi over 3. 4 minus 3, just 1 pi. Pi over 3. So we're looking at this angle right here, and we want cosine, so we want adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse. And that's going to be equal to half. However, on the third quadrant, we have t, which means that tangent is positive, but cosine and sine are negative. Therefore, instead of just half, we have negative half. OK, hope, oh, <laughs> that was a coincidence, actually. Um, both answers are the same for these guys. 
hopefully that made, made excellent sense. Um, you can take a look at similar questions on this website. And thank you for watching.